Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox and review Micro Macro Crime City by Pegasus Spiel. This cooperative game is for ages 8 and up, it takes 15 to 45 minutes to play, and it's for 1 to 4 players. On the front cover, there's a sample case on the top for you to practice with, and now we can go to the back. So the contents are one huge city map, whoa, 75 by 110 centimeters. That's huge. 120 cards with 16 exciting criminal cases. Oh, okay. So I guess maybe 16 puzzles in here or 16 games. One magnifying glass for tricky details. Tricky details. Oh, okay. So I guess the magnifying glass zooms in on the map. Oh, it seems like it's actually a card. Oh, yeah. Okay. So on the back, you can see there's a card here. So maybe the card is like transparent and it works like a magnifying glass not sure wow. but we'll get to it when we unbox and one roblox short and clear That's okay good i like how they say short and clear because some games like uh, 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 don't. Some, some games, games have, have really long and yeah, hard rules. they have millions of pages well not millions which which is not necessarily bad it just takes a long time to understand and now i'm going to read the short description Welcome to Crime City, a city with crime lurking around every corner. Deadly secrets, sneaky robberies, and cold-blooded murders are commonplace around here. The local police are no longer in control of the situation. Are they corrupt? <laughs> Therefore, your, your investigative skills are now required. Micro Macro is a cooperative detective game. Together, you will solve tricky criminal cases, identify motives, find evidence and convict the perpetrators. A keen eye is equally as important as clever deduction. This is real detective work. By the way, this game won the Board Game Geek 2020 Light Game of the Year and it's nominated for the Spiel de Jars 2021. Now it's time for brother's favorite part, opening the wrapper. Well, that's my favorite part of unboxing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it is. They weren't lying. It is short and simple. Oh, this is good. Okay. Oh, 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 Warning, spoiler alert. <laughs> what was that noise I just made? Oh. <laughs> Warning, spoiler alert. Do not look at the reverse side of the cards. Do not open the card packets before instructed to do so. Be sure to read the instructions first. Page one is game instructions. Okay, so that looks quite scary. Interesting. <laughs> Micro Macro Crime City. Welcome to Crime City, a place overrun with crime. Uh, detectives, we need your investigative skills to help deal with the situation. You'll play together in a team to solve numerous crime, 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 crimes that have taken place in the city. And then it goes to components, game setup. Setup. Oh, so there's game setup and then there's setup. Yeah, so the game, you set it up and you do the setup of where the player sit. Yeah. And then off we go. There's a little... Oh, there's also an advanced <clears throat> version and something about if you solved all the cases. And there's a little sticker. Sticker. Ooh, the map. Oh. The main part, so don't rip it and I don't will. bend it like how you do with these robots. You bend them. Okay. Okay, we'll get to this. That. I, I don't want to rip this map, but I'm going to try to open it. It's huge, okay? Okay, this doesn't even fit. <laughs> Okay, I'm covering you up, brother. What? It's a 75 by 110 Look. centimeter pick. Wow, that is huge. You can't even see the whole thing. <laughs> so, this is Crime City, and there are so many people. So many cars, so many buildings, so many everything. everything yeah. <laughs> this is a good time to mention that this game is similar to Where's Waldo. However, I think it's a lot more interesting. 
I don't even know what where's Waldo is. So if you know Waldo is I, I think the Wal penguin. I think Waldo's a dog. It might be a penguin. Oh, the envelopes, the sixteen envelopes. Oh. Hold on, what were the spoilers? Do not look at the reverse side of cards. Are these the Okay. Oh my god. Do not open the card <laughs> Do not open the card packets until instructed to do so. So these are the card Ugh. packets, right? No, don't let me see. Ugh. There is a uh, sorry. Oh, it says the top hat introductory case. This is the start card for the case. The lead investigator now turns over the start card and reads the text on the back aloud. Oh, wait. And over here is just stars. Just stars. Oh, I. Oh, that's probably how difficult each case is. Wait. What's this from? It's a magnifying glass. Oh, cool. It is the magnifying Oh, cool, yeah. Magnifying glass. It actually works so well. Let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oh, it actually looks real. It actually looks like real life. And there we have it, two stacks of height, of top secret cards. Yeah, don't break. A really cool them. magnifying glass, a huge city map. Hey, guess what? I found about this. Oh, 16 MB. They are empty. Oh, okay, 16 empty envelopes, but I think by the time we're done playing, they might be full with all 16 of the cases. It's time to play the demo version on the Micro Macro website. Then we'll play the real game and come back with our final thoughts. I mean, thoughts. Yeah, thoughts. Yeah, thoughts. And we're back. We played the demo version on the website and also five out of the 16 Micro Macro mysteries. So the objective of the game is to answer the questions on each of the cards to solve a mystery. For example, the questions might be, where does the victim live? Where does the murderer live? What was the motive? What was the weapon? Where did the murderer get the weapon from? Those kinds of questions. And for all the answers, you provide a specific location on the huge map. The map is unique because you can follow where certain characters go. So it's kind of like a storyline. For example, one specific character might appear multiple times on the map if they start out at the subway station and then go to the castle and then go to the park. That way you can figure out where certain characters were at certain times of the day. And this is especially helpful if like the good guy is over here and you can see the bad guy peeking out of a wall and spying on the victim. Yeah, that's nice. And then five minutes later, they would appear in a different location on the map. And you could, you could see that the bad guy is following the victim. My favorite part is searching for the characters on the map. And my favorite part is probably, like, once you find a character, then you can look at the nearby areas to see where the character went. And for example, one of the puzzles, there were characters that took many different transportations. So that the characters are able to walk, go on cars, go, go on, on boats. Horses. There's even subways that they can go on. So there's a lot of things happening on the map. A lot of buildings and shops and, and weapons and, and bad dead guys. People. It's actually a pretty chaotic map, but also another good thing is that the map is black and white because if the map was in color, I think the game would be a lot easier. Uh, since like if you're looking for someone wearing a yellow shirt and then you see it on there, then that just makes the game really easy. But with black and white, it's, it's just more challenging. And lastly, I mentioned earlier that this is nominated for Spiel de Jars, which is Game of the Year award. And I have a feeling that this game will win because it's certainly very unique. I've never played a game before that has a Where's Waldo aspect, but also mystery and a lot Crimes. of fun. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye bye.